Hi, my name is DeWitt Lucas, and I'm a student here at Atlanta Technical College. I study air conditioning technology, and on today's episode of the Student Takeover, we'll be interviewing Mr. Norman Johnson. He's our instructor here over the air conditioning technology program. Mr. Johnson, what is some of your educational background? Well, my educational background, um, a lot of people ask me that, and they think that, you know, I've spent a lot of years in college, but my actual background for education is Atlanta Technical College. When um, I was 17 years old, um, I had just got into the Fulton County school system. We had moved here from Detroit. Um, my father was in the entertainment business, and I basically didn't want to go to a traditional four-year college. So I actually drove myself up to Atlanta Technical College and probably the first grown thing I ever did in my life, I enrolled in Atlanta Technical College for air conditioning technology. When I, and I, like I said, I was 17 years old. That was in 1983. And that would pretty much be the foundation of my background as far as education, as far as what I do today. Okay. So what would you say inspired you or what would you say inspired you to pursue the career at HVAC? Um, what inspired me was my first job, I worked as a leasing consultant on uh, Godby Road in College Park. Um, that was my first job because my father wouldn't let me uh, have a job when I was in high school. Mm. So my first job was a leasing consultant and it, it for, to me seemed like a prominent job because I wore a suit and tie and slacks and carried a briefcase, but I didn't enjoy it. And when one day I took some of the maintenance guys to get their cash checks cashed, it seemed like they were making more than me. Me being so naive, I thought that the person who wore the suit and tie got paid the most. And when I found out that the maintenance guys was making more than me, it wanted, I, I wanted to do something in the field of, that wasn't in an office space. Mm -hmm. And so I asked them, you know, who made the most? And they told me the guy who did air conditioning and that was a summer job. And at the end of that, by the end of that summer, I had applied at Atlanta Area Tech back then, uh, and 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 that's where and that's where it started. Okay. Could you could you describe for us a particularly challenging or hard part of a job that you've been on, or a part of the service? Um. Well, I've been in this field now for thirty something odd years, and. I guess one of the most challenging things for me was when I got into the educational aspect of HVAC or air conditioning technology, and we were actually changing curriculums mm -hmm. at the school. And that was challenging for me because I wasn't really into paperwork. But as far as the air conditioning field itself, uh, if we're just looking at air conditioning, not as far as being an instructor. Um, the climate of, you know, the 96 and 100 degree days and being up in attics that were, you know, 130 degrees in the summertime, that was challenging, but you kind of grew, you kind of grow into it after, you know, after about two or three summers, right. you kind of grow into it. Okay. All right. So, um, uh what kind of advice could you give a student, a person like myself that's taking your class and is interested in the HVAC field? Um, continue to grow. Mm -hmm. um, continued education is important. Uh, once you get out in the field, first of all, once you get through the, you know, once you get into class, you know, keep up with your studies, mm -hmm. you know, uh, create a good foundation, learn the lingo, you know, the, 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 uh, the information that's, that's put out there for you as a student. But once you get out into the field, 
you know, you want to know that you have a solid foundation. And once you feel like you have a solid foundation, then you can start picking the areas that in which direction that you want to go mm -hmm. and to continue and to continue to grow. If you continue to grow in this field, I feel like the 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 the, the growth is is limitless. Right. You can grow and do as far as you want to as far as self-employment, as far as you know being mm -hmm. a manager, supervisor. All I feel like all of my students have that opportunity. Right. Because I had those opportunities. Mm -hmm. I came with not knowing anything about HVAC. Right. But once I got into it as a 17-year-old, um, fast forward, I've been in apartments, I've been in hotel, I've worked at hotels, I've worked at, for air conditioning companies, I ran right. my own air conditioning company, I got into teaching HVAC, then became the chairperson of my division. Mm -hmm. And this is for someone, like we just said, my only, uh, my, my foundation as far as education has been solely Atlanta Technical College. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, um, Mr. Johnson, with, uh, with all your experience and, and everything that you've been through uh, in doing HVAC, what are two qualities that you can pass down to somebody like me that's, that want to pursue the HVAC path? Mm -hmm. What are two qualities that you can give me that can make me, help me be more successful in my career? Hmm. Qualities. Well, everybody has special qualities. Mm -hmm. if, you, if, you, if you, first of all, put your special qualities first. You know, if you're if you have, you know, loyalty, that's a that's a good thing. And you probably mm -hmm. say, well, what does loyalty have to do with it? Well, if you're working with a company and if you can if you can buy into what they're doing, even if mm -hmm. it's not your agenda, if you can buy into somebody else's agenda on your pathway to get to where you're trying to go to, that's a plus. Um, determination. Uh, I got my license when I was 20 years old. I was the youngest licensed, uh, state licensed air conditioning person in the state of Georgia. And it took me three tries mm -hmm. to, get, to get that. That's a, a different story in itself. Right. But I had to, it, three tries. And I probably wasn't the most um, determined determined person at that point. But once again, my, 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 my parents, you know, encouraged me. I used their encouragement for my mm -hmm. determination, you know, to continue to pursue my license at such an early, early age. And mm -hmm. if you just have that determination, if you can't, I tell, I tell you just like in class when we're talking, mm -hmm. my objective in class for all of my students is that they reach their goal. You know, whatever your goal is when you come, now some people don't come in with goals and they just say they wanna be in the air conditioning industry. But by the time, hopefully by the time you're getting ready to graduate, my objective is to make sure that you are in the pathway of what mm -hmm. goal that you're trying to achieve and be open to, creative criticism. You know, if somebody says, hey, this would help you, you have to be open to that. So my biggest thing would be to say that to be loyal, not just to the person or company or entity that you're working for, but loyal also to yourself and your own mm -hmm. goals and determination. No matter what hurdle is put before you, you know that even based on what I've told you in class, the things, because I tell you my good qualities and my bad qualities. Mm -hmm. I tell you my, my, my mountains, mm -hmm. you know, peaks, and, and my valleys of lows. Okay. And, and I, I discuss those things with you, not so you can understand me better, but to understand that what I've accomplished didn't happen overnight right. or didn't happen 
just by chance. Mm -hmm. You know, it was sometimes being in the right place at the right time is a good thing and knowing people, but you have to put yourself in those places. You have to put yourself and you have to know when those opportunities are coming for you. Just like I've spoke to you guys in the last couple of weeks, you know, I have opportunities, you know, to, 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 to do the different things for my department. As far as we started the Atlanta gas light um, program, we started the uh, 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 Georgia power program. And now I'm getting ready to start an apartment association yeah. program. And those are things that I focus in on and I do the same things that I ask y'all to do as students when I'm trying to actually put them together. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, if you could leave us with some advice as we close out, what would it be? My advice to students and to people who are in my class, or if I'm giving advice to anybody in the HVAC industry or technical training, is one, stay up on technology. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that I tell y'all because I'm, I show y'all anytime something new comes out or anytime something comes past me new, I share it with you. Stay on top of technology, stay a, a, on top of the trends and know that you don't have to lose yourself mm -hmm. in, in, in what you're learning and what you desire to do that you could still, if you like to paint, you can still paint. If you like music, you can still like music and enjoy the process. It's, it's a lot more fun when you enjoy the process, the process of going to school, the process of getting your first job, mm -hmm. the process of getting your license, the process of starting your own business, because it happens fast. Mm -hmm. um, I've been here 28 years, 20, uh, no, let me, I'm sorry. This year will be 30 years. I've been here 30 years, started right. here in 1994 as an instructor. And so in, in 2024, I've been here 30 years and it goes by so fast. And if my son just graduated, he took heating and air conditioning. And the process of watching him go through that was interesting. I've had so many interesting students. I've had so many students who've achieved so many great things from our program. And you know, someone will come back and say, thank you, Mr. Johnson, you did this for me. And I'll say, hey, you know, you did that. You know, I was just one of the vessels that helped you get to that point. Mm -hmm. So to say as far as just as what I would say, if someone is watching uh, this podcast that, and they're in technical education, that you can achieve whatever you want monetarily if you covet and, and embrace what you're learning and really take it to heart right. and say, this is something that I'm into. Mm -hmm. You're in a field that I bring people into the classroom all the time. People come up and they say, y'all are in the right field. Yes, sir. You are going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. If you can take that motivation and just keep pushing, even when there's a downtime, because there's going to be points when you didn't get the job that you wanted, or you didn't get the promotion you didn't want, that you wanted, or you didn't get the license when you wanted. But if you can stay in that lane of, I'm going to stay motivated. I'm going to keep pursuing until I reach the goal. And when I reach the goal, I'm going to find another goal. You want to keep pursuing. You want to keep moving forward and enjoy the process. Thank you. As we come to the end of another episode, we want to thank you for tuning in and spending your valuable time with us for this student takeover edition. We hope that you found this episode informative thought-provoking, and entertaining. If you enjoyed what you heard, don't forget to subscribe to our podcast so that you can be notified about future episodes. If you have any feedback or suggestions for topics you would like us to cover, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We love hearing from our listeners 
and we are always looking for ways to improve and grow. Next time, continue to stay strong so you can finish strong. <laughs>